So okay. this would be like, mm -hmm. you know, where the Chinese, you know, had their campsite. Yeah, so we're at Summit Camp and we're heading to one of the cabin locations um, that they occupied while they were living at the camp. We know from historic photographs that there was a whole series of wooden cabins built along in here next to the tunnels. I'd love to see the any evidence of a campfire. There's one right over here. Right over here. Oh, good. So there's a little hearth here. Oh. You can see the rocks oh, yeah. all set in place. There's uh -huh. can fragments and nail fragments. Big storage jars. Oh, the yes, Chinese that, brown glass stonework. Chinese storage jar. Yeah. yeah. My great grandfather was one of those workers recruited by the Central Pacific in 1866. So he came over to America as a 19-year-old villager from Toisan and uh, went to work on the Central Pacific. He was part of the second major wave of Chinese immigrants to California. The first occurred some 16 years earlier during the gold rush. They came seeking work and good wages on Gumsan or Gold Mountain. What they found was very different. Chinese immigrants to California faced extreme adversity and discrimination, especially when the gold and silver mines began drying up. By the 1860s, the Chinese were completely expelled from the mines and had to find other jobs. As fate would have it, other opportunities were about to open up for some of these industrious men. On January 8, 1863, California Governor Leland Stanford broke ground in Sacramento on the site of the western terminus of the new Transcontinental Railroad. The Central Pacific Railroad Company needed 5,000 workers to begin the daunting challenge of building the railroad over the Sierra at Donner Pass. Despite the urgency of the task, by the winter of 1864, only 600 laborers had signed on, and many of those proved unreliable, often leaving to return to far more lucrative work in the gold and silver mines. Faced with a critical shortage of labor, railroad boss Charles Crocker suggested to his foreman, James Harvey Strobridge, that he hire Chinese laborers. Strobridge objected vehemently, doubting that they were suitable for such demanding physical work. But it didn't take him long to change his mind. He was so impressed by their work that he was soon hiring more Chinese for more difficult tasks, and the company began recruiting thousands of workers directly from China. By the completion of the project, as many as 12,000 Chinese worked on the nearly 700 miles of Central Pacific Line. One of the most difficult challenges was Summit Tunnel. At 1,660 feet, it's the longest of 11 tunnels carved by the Chinese through the Sierra on either side of Donner Pass. So the progress is really slow and painstaking and mm -hmm. because the, the tunnel took about a year and a half to build. Yeah, yeah. It was less than two feet a day for the most part. So you can still see the drill holes that they drilled here. Um, for the blasting powder, and these were all drilled by hand, and it was a two-man team, and you'd have one guy holding the drill bit and turning it as they go, and the other guy hitting it with the hammer. Mm -hmm. Over here is another really good example of one of the drill holes. You can see this hole cut going down the rock here. When they got to the desired depth, they would fill it with black powder and later nitroglycerin, and then wire them together and get out and then blast the rock face and then after it had cleared, they'd come back in and muck out all the rock that they had blasted out and then go through the whole process over again. Some of these guys undoubtedly had worked in the, the gold mines in California and already had experience with this type of um, excavation technique. So here's the, uh, the shaft. Wow, that is incredible. I've always wanted to see this. Yeah, they started excavating the tunnel at the west end and progress was slow, so they jumped over to the east end and started excavating from that direction and still weren't making fast enough progress. So then they dug this shaft down from the top into the middle of the tunnel and then started working east and west from here. So they were working four faces at the same time. And when they finally all met up, they were within six inches of where they wanted to be. That's unbelievable. It really is. So it would have been really dangerous work as well. I mean, the drilling and then 
collapses, rocks falling in, blasting accidents, especially the nitroglycerin was super unstable. At an elevation of 7,000 feet, the area around Donner Summit could be an unforgiving environment for the workers who had to contend with extremes of heat and cold. The winter of 1866 to 1867 was especially harsh, with a snowpack reaching depths of over 20 feet. Workers had to tunnel through the snow to reach the tunnel faces and to remove waste rock. Avalanches were common, sometimes sweeping away entire camps. There are reports of the bodies of buried workers not being found until the following spring, sometimes with their shovels and picks still in their hands. We don't know how many Chinese died, do we? No, they didn't keep track of how many of the workers were injured or killed, but um, some estimates put it at about 1,200 people. This is a colossal site. It's so magnificent. To imagine Chinese workers, such as my great-grandfather, working to build Summit Tunnel, uh, drilling inches at a time, Somebody said that if the railroad were ever built, it would be the work of giants. They did gigantic, monumental work. The building of 11 tunnels through the Sierra Nevada, the towing of locomotives and rails for 28 miles over the summit, the laying of 10 miles of track in one day. The courage and daring of the Chinese in doing what many thought to be impossible has until recently been largely omitted from American history. But now we have an opportunity to set the record straight. We have a new awareness of the true history of the building of the railroad. And I think that finally, the Chinese laborers will have their rightful place in history. <laughs>